the entry point into the manufacturing sector itself has to be eased. Our initial barriers have to be lowered and perhaps even removed. If we keep the doors closed, investment won't come in, it won't trickle in. After we open up and remove the entry point barriers in most sectors, our enabling environment, and this is the enabling environment not only of the central or the state governments, but across the board, has to be easened. The joint ventures, the provisions for transfer of technology, the dispute resolution mechanisms. We have to ask ourselves the question, why is it that each investor is today insisting on international arbitrations where the venue is not India? Is it because our domestic systems have a tendency to interfere too much even in the domestic tribunals which are created or the international tribunals which are created for the purposes of dispute resolution itself. The ease of doing business. It's very easy to mention this uh, particular phrase. But in the ease of doing business, what is it that has happened in the last few years that added to the complication of doing business in India? Was it uh, uncertainty as far as tax administration was concerned? Has it not scared investors away? Has it not resulted in close down of uh, plants which were otherwise going to be globally competitive? The legacy of the land law itself is going to add to the complication of doing business. So if you set up an industrial park or a standalone industry or an industrial corridor, the complex procedures that you will have to go through to make land available for industry, which is essential for manufacturing, under the present law is going to be far more complicated